Hey guys, Pete here with GIS Solutions. Today we're going to go over markers in Leaflet. We're going to go over some custom markers, some default markers, markers that you can move around. You could click onto them to have a pop up or just hover over them. So stick around. <music> Okay guys, so for the demo, I'm gonna use a very basic web map and I'll leave a link in the description down below on a video I did about making a very basic web map. So the first marker we're gonna do is a very simple, like a default marker. So in the body, we're gonna make a variable. So very marker equals L marker. And then now we'll put a latitude and longitude of where we want to put the marker. Okay, save that and we'll bring this up and here's our marker. So again, this is a very default looking marker, but we could add some stuff to it. So let's go ahead and make it so we can move it. We could hover over it and have a call out and we could click onto it, have a say something. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and come right up to here, right after the lat long. So we're going to do, so we say draggable. Say true. So that'll make it so we could just move the marker around. And a title. Now this is if we want to hover over that marker, it could call out something such as this. Oops. This is a marker. Okay. And we can add that to map. We'll save that. We'll refresh our map. So we could hover over it. It says this is a marker. And I can left click and I can move the marker around. We can also click onto it and have a pop up. And to do that, we do a bind pop-up. So after where we add to map, we're going to put a period, bind, pop-up. And we just simply say, oops, hello. OK, save that and refresh. So I click onto it, it says hello. Hover over, I still have, this is a marker, or I could grab it and move that around. Okay, so that's the first basic one. So next we'll do a circle marker. And just to add a little consistency here, let's say this is standard marker. Okay, so for this, so variable, we'll call this a circle marker. It's new, L circle marker. And we can do the same lat long for the most part. Let's go copy this. Actually, going to adjust this just a little bit, just so that it could um, be overlapped with our other marker. Okay. So now, with the circle marker, we're able to do some customizations to it. So, like radius, color, opacity, uh, fill color, and so forth. So, I'm just going to start putting down some options here. Stroke so true. Capacity. Oh. 
open. Fill true. If it was false, the fill was false, then we weren't able to uh, have a fill color. So fill color, Let's say green. Full opacity. Map. Okay. Let's save that and we'll refresh our map. And there's our next, there's our circle marker. And same thing, you know, we could do a bind pop up, you know, say, Find pop up. Say hello again. Save that and refresh the map. Oops. So I could say hello again. All right. And finally, what we're going to do is a, we're going to add a custom logo. So if you have like a PNG or any other image file, we could go and bring that in and use that as a marker as well. So let's say custom marker. Okay, so comes up here. So variable is icon option. Rules. Icon URL. So in my folder here, I have a tree PNG, a tree, um, a PNG file. So I'm adding that as my, for my marker. We could do icon size. Say thirty eight ninety five. Okay, so that equals L icon. Okay, so variable marker options equals. Okay, so this is where we could state the icon. So the icon is custom icon. A draggable. Give it a title. So if I hover over it, I could say something cool. Okay. Now we want to place where this marker is going to uh, reside. The Latin long. Rules L marker. Oops. L marker. So I do like eight. Add 
to up. Okay. Okay, so it looks like I have an error here. Okay, so it looks like I'm missing a comma right there. Okay, so I'll go ahead and save that and we'll refresh my map. And here is my tree. And again, I could move this guy around. This is draggable. I have a little title to it. And again, I could add that same bind pop up as I did to the other marker if I like to. But anyway, here are a couple of just random points you could add and how you could customize them. I hope you guys found this useful. And as always, please leave a comment down below if you have any questions or any suggestions for any future videos. As always, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time.